I'm going to talk about the property grid and the property attributes. So here's a property grid right here. You can set some designer available objects as the selected object and you can change them in real time using the property grid view. Or you might have to set the selected object of your property grid view manually or in code. In code here you'll see that I've assigned my own defined class to the selected object. This is a um, list of properties that my class exposes and I have two properties. One is is looking nice and the other one is error message. I have a lot of uh, attributes applied to them. Uh, the common ones, the ones that you'd use most with the properties. There are several others that I'm not going to mention and others that are, I'm not familiar with. So I'm going to start off with the default value and the default value will unbold or it will just display the text normally if the value is default. Also when in the Visual Studio's designer you can hit reset in the property grid view item and it will reset the item to the default value. Next is the category and that's pretty self-explanatory. It categorizes the, the properties into groups so that you can scan through them faster if you don't know what they're called or anything like that. There's the display name. So my property by default the display name will be error message because that's the property name. But if you want to change that you can apply the display name attribute and you can change up the name that's displayed in the property grid. Uh, next is the description and that is the text that is displayed at the bottom of the property grid view and you want to say gets or sets according to whether or not you can actually set the property. So if you can't set the property then just say gets. It's kind of how it is in the predefined controls and whatnot so that's what I do. And I'll show you an example of these uh, applied attributes. So I'm going to select the error message down here and you'll notice that the display name is error message 545 and because I said so it was not bolded because it's default but if I change it it is no longer default and it is bolded um, at the bottom you'll see that the description is available uh, gets the message to display when the error occurs this is how you would specify that your property should not be displayed in a property grid by using browsable and then passing in the false bool. You'll notice that that property is no longer showing in the property grid. 